Hello guys, I am Yogesh. Today I am going to demonstrate that how we can use the lambda expressions in C sharp. Lambda expressions is a very essential feature of the C sharp and if you are going to write link you code or if you are working on MVC, generally we use the lambda expressions. Okay? So let me introduce that what is the lambda expression is actually lambda expression are introduced in C sharp 3.0 and it is a kind of anonymous functions anonymous functions means the function without the name that is called the anonymous function the compiler will generate the name and compiler will do all processing to implement that function so here I am not going to demonstrate or not going to in, in detail of the anonymous method because I will create video based on anonymous me method later. Okay. So for the simplicity you can better understand that lambda expressions are the anonymous functions. Okay. And uh, you can see that uh, lambda expression is a method without declaration. What is the mean of declaration? If you are going to declare a method, it means that you are writing the signature of that method. In signature, you have some things like uh, access modifier, public private protected, function name, then the parameters. Okay, but here you are not uh, going or you are not using a you know traditional method signature. You are just going to create a shortcut uh, way to write a particular method. Lambda expression have a particular syntax and uh, by using that syntax you can declare the functions. In the short you can say that uh, a lambda expression is a shortcut way by which uh, you know you can declare a method. Okay. So we used it and uh, see that how we can perform this action. The syntax of the lambda expression is that first of all you will write the parameter. Parameter is means that as you know that if you are going to write a function functions have some you know important things like uh, the access modifier function name return type and uh, the parameter as you know that we define the complete uh, we can't define the complete signature in lambda expression you have to write a very simple syntax to perform or to create a lambda expression here you can see first of all you you will define the parameter and after that you have to use the lambda operator and after that the execution code or the expression which you want to execute I am taking a very simple example let's see here n lambda operator n module by 2 equal to equal to 0 it means that we want those n numbers who are completely divided by 2 or you can say which are the even numbers okay so n is what it is a input parameter okay we are taking this input parameter we are uh, you know dividing this input parameter and we are checking in this expression so here you can see simple example I just creating a list of integers here I passed three integer values again we are creating another list and the name of the list is even numbers and using the link use syntax you can perform a very simple code here you can see that this particular code is a sent returning a list with the even values okay we are performing code on this line n divided by 2 equal to equal to 0 okay so n is what n is the values of this list okay and it will return 12 and 52 so let's come to the practical part and see that how we can perform lambda expression in visual studio so I created a very simple console application and in this com console application I'm going to create a list and uh, after writing the list code you can retrieve the values see list 
I want to create an integer list and my list it's my list name and uh, I'm passing I have to use I'm creating the object of the list integer and 12 23 34 53 62 these are some list values let me create a new list and the list name is even numbers I am just writing a simple code my list okay dot where okay say extension method and uh, in this where you are writing the lambda expression so what is the lambda expression n module by 2 equal to equal to 0 and we have to convert it into the list fine okay so we will have the list now let me print this list values using the for each you can do this for each we are going to read the integer value that is why I am taking the integer data type i in even numbers ok and uh, console dot write line console dot write line and this console dot write line I am just adding the value ok and after completion of this for each loop let me write console dot read line ok fine so let me execute the program and see the result So you can have the list of even numbers. See. So guys, uh, let's come to the this part. That what is the role of n? N is a parameter who is reading the values from this my list. Okay, because we have performed the where clause on the my list that is why the all integer variables or integer values will be passed into the n it's working like a input parameter and we are taking the even values and we are converting into the list and we are passing it into the list even numbers and we are just writing a very simple code to read the values so guys if you like this video please subscribe my channel I am going to upload more and more videos based on C sharp, MVC and uh, you know and lots of uh, C sharp, MVC, SQL server, lots of uh, you know uh, concept which are generally used by the programmers as well as the beginners we will discuss. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks.